and wanted to mention a little bit about him. In the West, he's known as Saladin. And Salahuddin al Ayyubi is the one who resisted the Crusaders and eventually uh, he defeated them and, and liberated the city, in particular the city of, of, of Jerusalem, Al Quds, and other cities. And I wanted to mention something from one of the scholars, his name was Muhammad ibn Hiba al Makki. He wrote a treatise of poetry talking about the creed of Ahmad Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And he gave this, he gifted this to Salahuddin al Ayyubi. And to show the creed of Ahmad Sunnah wal Jama'ah has been consistent throughout the centuries. And in, in this treatise, in this uh, po book of poetry, he said about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, قَدْ كَانَ مَوْجُودًا وَلَا مَكَانَ وَحُكْمُهُ الْآنَ عَلَى مَا كَانَ Which means that the belief about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that Allah was and place was not, meaning Allah ta'ala existed before the places, the directions, the distance, the darkness, the direction, uh, the light or darkness. Allah was existing and nothing else was existing. And the judgment about his existence, the judgment about Allah's existence is as it was, meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the universe, is not subject to time, is not subject to light, is not subject to darkness, distance, direction, but rather the Creator is absolutely different from all of the creation. And this is the, if you wish, the, one of the bedrock beliefs of the Muslims, is that Allahu mawjudun bila makan, bila jiha, that Allah exists without location, without direction, that Allah Ta'ala is absolutely different from all of the creations. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala revealed in the Kitab, in His book, in the Holy Quran, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ which means there is absolutely nothing like Allah whatsoever. So by this creed of Ahl Sunnah that Abu Ayyam, Afwan, Salahuddin al Ayyubi, that by spreading, propagating the creed of Ahmad Sunnah wa Jama'ah, this united the hearts of the Muslims. And as a result of this, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Muslims became united and they were able to defeat the Crusaders and liberate the city of Jerusalem. So this is, alhamdulillah, right here we are sitting and we are in this place of, of tremendous legacy left by one of the great leaders of this nation, one of the great heroes of this nation, Salahuddin al Ayyubi. And we mentioned later that Muhammad Ali, under the same creed of Ahmad Sunnah wa Jama'at, he was successful in banishing the, uh, the fitna to Wahhabiyyah from the Hijaz region. So this is our creed, this is who we are in a, throughout history, and this is part of what Barak Quest wants to do, is we want to share the belief of the Muslims, share it with the public, Muslim and non-Muslim, so that people can truly understand what Muslims believe, and also the Islam. And again, in summary, that uh, Salahuddin al Ayyubi, one of the great leaders of this nation, that he was gifted a treatise written by a scholar named Muhammad al Hidda al Makki, and it's about a booklet of uh, poetry about 80 pages long. I've seen it before. And in it, there are several passages, but we mentioned one passage that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah exists, the Creator exists without being in a location. This is our belief. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to die on the proper belief in Allah and in the Prophets. This is again Baraka Quest. Please check us out at barakaquest.wordpress.com. Again, barakaquest.wordpress.com. Please support us on our YouTube channel. ta'ala. This year we're going to try to make some big things happen. So please give us your support. Alhamdulillah, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.